This is the weekly update for Mr. Fix's science class for the week of September 2nd. Happy September. All right, so each day we've been reviewing the heat transfer unit. So at the beginning of the, each class, we have a couple questions that I ask students. And they talk it over with their classmates or teammates in their group. And then I call them. If they get the question right, they get some points for the group. We're going to use points at the end of the unit. We did the Amplify article Absolute Zero and the follow-up. So this is an article that uh, was about the concept of Absolute Zero. And Absolute Zero is basically the temperature at which all molecules stop moving. So ex it's extremely cold, in other words. And so that was about four paragraphs long, and then we did a follow-up to it, answers some questions. The whole point of it was to, again, to determine the difference between thermal energy and temperature. Uh, then we went over to the temperature versus thermal energy sim. We had a key that was available. We did this uh, assignment last week, or probably Friday of last week, and so I went over the correct answers uh, in it. And again, the whole idea was to explore the difference between temperature and thermal energy. Then we watched the video, there's no such thing as cold. We did some map testing in English language arts on Tuesday. Uh, then we did cloth colors. Let's take a look at that. that. Uh, so cloth colors, they did that and they're doing science notebook. So the phenomena was red, white, and black cloth are exposed to light from an incandescent light bulb. You feel the cloth and you notice that the black cloth feels the hottest, white cloth feels the coolest, and red cloth feels in between. We actually used an infrared thermometer to determine the temperatures of each. And so, well, why does that happen? That was our question we asked. So we went to the simulation in Amplify. And from there, they chose the light bulb, they placed the plant on platform one, as shown in the picture to the right. They turn on the light bulb, inspect the light beam before it strikes the plant, and inspect the light beam after it reflects the plant. So here is the simulation. So put the plant on platform one, and choose light bulb turn it on and then we inspect the beam and so we see this light from the light bulb is made up of visible light which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and new violet and infrared light and the light that gets reflected off the plant is the green light and so basically what the plant's doing is absorbing all the types of light that's emitted from this light bulb except for green which it reflects and we also notice that the plant gets warmer as a result of absorbing that energy. So those are the questions we just answered. They had to do that when they're doing science notebook. And so conclusions, it helps us know that, well, why is the black um, cloth the hottest? Because it absorbs all the colors of visible light, including infrared light. White reflects all, except for it absorbs infrared light. And red absorbs all the colors of visible light and infrared light, except for it reflects red. All right, so then we storyboarded that on page 11 and so it uh, shows again a visual story of why that happened with those different colored cloths and we talked about the method of heat transfers radiation so radiation was happening um, then on Thursday we did house temperatures and lights so we collected we had a, a big house cardboard house that had a black roof on it and we had thermometers inserted into section A and section B. So here's a diagram that we copied down to our doing science notebook. So here's the house, it had a black roof, and then again we had a thermometer stuck in this location and thermometer B stuck at that location and it was taking the temperature of the air, light bulbs turned on, the black roof was absorbing all the colors of light, uh, including uh, infrared light. And so we record the temperature every 30 seconds up to five minutes, that's 300 seconds. And then at that time, we turn the lights off and turn the house upside down. This is what we got with the temperature changes. Now, with the data table, it's hard to see what actually happened. So we take that data and we displayed it into a graph. So we all made this graph together and observed the trends of temperature A and temperature B. And then from there, we took down notes um, on the storyboard of the house heat on page 11. I don't have the link yet, but... It, I'm going to do that after I shoot this video. And then we talked about the Penguin Shelter Engineering Challenge on Friday on what they have to do with that uh, project. And they started today with their initial design. 
and these are the directions on how to do the initial individual penguin shelter design. Then we did an activity called Hot Money where I took isopropyl alcohol and mixed it with some water. And I didn't take somebody's dollar bill, we used Monopoly money, fake Monopoly money actually. Uh, and we took it and we added a flame to it and we saw this happen. A flame was produced yet the money was left behind. The money was slightly warm. So we talked about, well, how that works. So basically, the isopropyl alcohol uh, was the one ignited in berm. The water that was mixed in took, absorbed some of that thermal energy. And so less thermal energy went to the dollar bill. So the dollar bill didn't absorb as much thermal energy as they would normally without that water there. And so it didn't reach a high enough temperature to ignite. So we did that in class on Friday. So that was pretty fun. And that's the what we did in science this week. Hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.